If you're a golfer with a handicap between, say, 5 and maybe 15, you're looking for a better player's distance iron, something that's going to give you a little more horsepower, a little more distance, and enhanced forgiveness, but you want it to look like a better player's club and have that compact blade length, and TaylorMade thinks the updated P790 might be just the club for you. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. Now, from the outside, it doesn't look like very much has changed with the P790 for 2023. This is the fourth iteration of P790, and you still have a forged 4140 stainless steel face that's very, very thin. And this is also still a hollow body construction, so that thin face is going to be able to flex much more effectively at the moment of impact to help you get that improved ball speed. Now, like the 2021 version of P790, this club is injected with Speed Foam Air. This is the second generation of Speed Foam. And the advantage of going with speed foam air over the original speed foam that was found in the first p790 irons is that it's significantly lighter about 69 percent lighter so it's taking weight out of the center of the club head and giving it to tailor-made engineers in the form of discretionary weight as well as adding just a little more perimeter weighting which is going to help in and of itself give you a little bit more forgiveness you'll also notice that the three iron through the seven iron have a through speed pocket slot now this has been a staple in tailor-made irons for a long time and what that's going to do is help to make the lower portion of the face a little bit more flexible at the moment of impact so if you hit shots a little bit thin the bottom portion of the face is going to flex more effectively than it would otherwise now that slot is covered by a polymer so water debris sand etc is not going to get inside the head but it's still going to be able to flex but when it comes down to it the biggest changes in the p790 are taking place inside the club head and thanks to tailormade who sent me a box of opened p790 heads i can show you exactly what i mean now, the first thing you'll notice is the back walls of each one of the irons, all the way from the three iron through the eight iron, have what's called thick, thin wall construction. That's basically where TaylorMade's designers and engineers have removed a significant portion of weight and made many areas of the back of the club head thinner, leaving what almost looks like sort of a honeycomb pattern. Now, structurally, it's going to be every bit as strong as it was before, but you're removing a significant amount of weight from an area of the club where it really serves no performance benefit. And that creates discretionary weight that TaylorMade was able to repurpose in several different areas of the head. The second thing I want you to notice is that there are large tungsten weights in the three through seven iron in the P790s, but each one of the weights is positioned a little bit differently. In the three, four, and five iron, for example, the weights are very, very low and out towards the toe, and that's gonna to help to pull the center of gravity more in line with the center of the hitting area, away from the hosel, which is a good thing, and it's also gonna drive that center of gravity down. So the three, four, five irons, the six irons, are going to have a higher initial launch angle, and that's exactly what you want from your long irons. Then when you transition into the six and the seven iron, notice that that tungsten weight out in the toe is elevated. It goes up a little bit more than it did in the longer irons. Again, that's what you want. This creates a progressive center of gravity so that in the long irons, the clubs that are the hardest to hit high in the air, they have the lowest CG. They have the most uh, launch angle help, if you will. And as you progress into the six and the seven iron, the CG goes up a little bit. So you can start to flight some of your approach shots down just a touch. By the time you're getting into a seven iron, Getting the ball up in the air really isn't all that much of a challenge. And as you'll notice, when we get into the eight iron, there is no tungsten out in the toe. The loft of the eight iron, the nine iron, the pitching wedge is gonna be able to get the ball up just fine. So the clubs all transition, the, the center of gravity position, changes and the construction changes. The other thing I want you to notice is that in the three iron through the seven iron, TaylorMade incorporated different sound stabilizing bars. They all have a very unique shape. Everyone is different and TaylorMade use artificial intelligence to try and study thousands and thousands of impacts and find out how the club heads were resonating, what type of frequencies were being created at the moment of impact with each different club head. Then it created different sound stabilizing bars, positioned them in different areas, made them larger, smaller, etc. All those things to try and harmonically get the sound that the TaylorMade designers were looking for. Now, according to TaylorMade, the combination of the sound stabilizing bars with the speed foam air is going to make this club feel and sound significantly better than any previous version of P790. Now, TaylorMade did make a set available to me for review, and I got to tell you that the P790s do feel and sound really, really good. They have a real solidness to the strike, even though I caught a couple shots thin, maybe a few shots out towards the toe, which is my miss. They felt solid, they sounded really good, and I was able to get actually what I thought was better performance than I expected from some shots where I felt I miss hit the ball. From a look standpoint, I think that they're gonna blend very, very well for many players who wanna create a blended set between P790, say, in the long iron, and P770s, which were updated uh, about a year ago, in, say, the short irons. And from a construction standpoint, that should be relatively easy to do. But at the same time, because TaylorMade paid so much attention to making each one of these clubs individually 
feel and sound better. It will be very interesting to see if people will go with a complete set of the P770s. They are going to be available three iron through attack wedge, and the lofts are pretty much what you would think from a slightly better player's iron. The pitching wedge is at 45 degrees, which by modern standards is actually relatively weak. It would be pretty easy to transition from the pitching wedge that comes with the P790s into one of the most popular um, gap wedge lofts now, which is about 50 degrees. That gap should work for most players. Now, personally, I do spin the ball quite a bit, but I was pleasantly surprised with the flight that I got with some of the long irons. I found it very easy to get the four iron up in the air, even though in my own set of golf clubs, I don't carry a four iron. I go with a hybrid instead of a four iron, but I did find the four iron actually in the P790s relatively easy to get up. So if you're somebody who is not carried a four iron and certainly not carried a three iron for a long time, you might want to at least talk to a good custom fitter and go through a, a fitting process that would include those clubs because with that much weight down low, it is relatively easy to get those long irons up in the air. Look, I hope you found this video about the new P790 to be very informative. If you did, if you like the content that I've been creating, it would be great if you would subscribe to my channel as well as hit the bell button so you get a notification about when new videos that I'm producing are coming out. It's August of 2023 and we've got lots of things coming out fast and furious at this point. So you definitely don't want to miss it. There are a lot of really cool things coming towards the end of the summer and the fall. So I'll look forward to seeing you again really, really soon.